welcome back to another video. Uh, today Pete's not coming, so we've left Adele to sort out our new navigator. So we'll find out who she's got. All right, so Adele, we've tasked you with getting a new navigator and you said you're bringing us an expert. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, morning Steve, welcome to the vlogs again. Been a while. You, yeah, can, been... you can watch another one now. Yeah, I haven't watched one since. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so why Steve's just dropped to make a technical adjustment back there in the in the hedge. <laughs> I'll tell you a bit about today's ride. We are going to Sutton Bingham, the other side of Yeovil. We're gonna have a stop at Hamish's Cafe, just the other side of Yeovil as well. After about 40K. It's a little bit short today. We're just doing 52-ish uh, miles, or I think it was 88 kilometers, something like that. So uh, a few new roads for everybody. Uh, definitely for me, around the Hardington Mandeville area. So I'm looking forward to that. There are five of us. We've got Steve Cox has joined us today. No Pete, other than that, it's the same crew as last week. So it should be a good one. The weather, well, <laughs> it was supposed to rain first thing and didn't, so I'm not gonna complain about the weather, but it's not the warmest and the sun is not out yet, but fingers crossed. It's not too early, Justin. The top is just there. Oh, no. I got the points. See, you made it. All right, Steve's getting excited. He's just seen the sign for Trent. It's a place that we cycle around and pass and always see the signs for Trent from miles away, but we've never actually been there. Yeah, this is the time. So I hope we're not disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, it'd just be a village now with two houses. <laughs> no, we're definitely not going through it again. <laughs> Apparently it's now to the left. I'll go Steve Porch Group next time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally cheated. I, yeah, I can't <laughs> Still a mile away though. Still a mile away from Trent. You're always a mile away from Trent. You never actually go through the village. It's like a Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. I just saw that junction back there and I thought this could be a Steve Cox disaster, but then I realized Justin was with him. <laughs> Justin's got the map. I can still get lost with the map. Well, if anyone's gonna get lost, it's our Steve. It is Hamish country, that's where we're heading yet. Clifton Maybanks. That is so like a box. Standard deliver, give me all your coffee and cake. <laughs> El Valditos. <laughs> Look at that, we're, we're all, all on brand. <laughs> Mend it mass. So what are you gone for? Banana drizzle. Banana drizzle cake. And it is? Very nice. Mm. Different. But how does it compare to your Vinnie's World last week? Nothing compares to that. <laughs> Honestly, that is the best thing I've ever tasted, I think. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah. So, Dean, the dairy-free option? The dairy-free option is this. It's all right. <laughs> bacon <laughs> bacon, black if bacon coffee. rolls go, I would have liked a bit of cake, but not this week. So what you don't need is a big hill straight from the cafe, do you? Well, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, coffee and cake done, and we're now on our way up the, to the reservoir. We've just got across the main road. Right, so we're past the reservoir. We're now onto some new roads for me. This is another highlight and commute as a pretty lane, so we'll see. So, Justin, this is a commute highlight as a pretty lane. Is it? Lovely. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't have guessed it was a commute highlight, would you? This is 
commute at its best, Dean. It could be a... Uh, last week's commute road was uh, a bit more challenging than this. We'll see what's up ahead. <laughs> Do, how many... Uh, how many deep puddles? Gravel, potholes, steep hills. They commute to uh, standard signs, don't they, Del? Yeah. Always ready for anything. <laughs> oh, it's getting steep. <laughs> getting really steep. Look at that on GoPro. Have you? Yeah. So. <laughs> I just looked up and he was in the hedge. I thought, what's he doing in there? Does he get going again? <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Where were you going? Still had no grip at all. I sat down, stood up, nothing. Just no grip. And then I just lost momentum into the hedge. Couldn't get going. But, but good tracks down in the hedge. I'm hoping it's on GoPro. <laughs> It's unbelievable. You'll have a new name, not getting lost, but Mr. Really Track Stand. Really <laughs> That's too much air, I don't know. Is, is now the time to tell Steve that that was minus 20 points for the last one up on that climb? Oh, definitely. That was, that was shocking. <laughs> if there's any consolation, Steve, we've missed you in the vlogs because you're pure entertainment. Yeah, <laughs> you love the brambles, don't you? <laughs> that, was, that was embarrassing. I always want to go back and do it again, but I just think it'll probably happen again. <laughs> Well, I don't know whether it is the fact this is a new road or the fact it is the commute highlight, but stunning bit of road to cycle on. Some dodgy potholes, but scenery, 10 out of 10. Although three of those marks are for the entertainment Steve just provided going up that hill. <laughs> Someone's burying their head in the sand. Some sort of weird valley of the dolls. <laughs> but it is starting to look a little bit grey. Fingers crossed for us. Steve's cracked Justin. Reckon he's gone. Well, we reckon in that Steve might have gone too early. He's re Justin's reckon, closing. He reckon, I re he's reeling him in from behind. He is. Isn't he? Sat down. He's calm. got a lower gear spinning. He's, he's got his head down, watching the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a froom. Staying within his limits. Just waiting to attack. There he goes. The there he goes. So gone on longer than Steve, <laughs> Steve got caught out then. Justin was just silently waiting his turn. Who got it? The, the points. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we thought you had him. Oh, uh, you were reeling him in. Yeah. You looked like you were reeling in. You had steady, calm in the saddle. Thought you were going for the yellow jersey the way you were both riding up there. <laughs> so do you feel you redeemed yourself from the early hill now? No, I could never <laughs> The only good thing is that Keith Lamb didn't overtake me <laughs> as I was there. Because I know that would never... <laughs> He'd never let you forget that one. He wouldn't, no. So we made our way through uh, Montecute and we're now on the uh, short journey home. So nearly there, shorter ride this week. Where are you going? <laughs> it had to be once today, <laughs> just the once. He's been pushing on so hard all the way down through long load there. I knew he was going to go the wrong way. <laughs> Where are you going, Steve? See my family. See your family. Oh, wow. Is that the excuse? <laughs> See where they're buried. Pay more respect. But no, no Trent, no Long Sutton. No, we're taking an no alternative route back into something just for a change. So, do you reckon that was far enough to get the tile though, Dean? Uh, it was, it, we were right on the edge of it anyway, so I thought I'd probably <laughs> just need to go in slightly to get it. J Justin's going to make sure he's gone a bit, an extra 10 metres. Oh, 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 That's because I got trapped in my bike. Yours isn't as plastic. 
<laughs> it isn't as impressive as friends. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better. As you probably point out at this point, uh, uh, Dean does collect the Veloviewer tiles and he reckoned he could collect 20 today and that's an extra one to make it 21. So he's gone off route a little bit. I need to have a look at this because I might have loads of Velo tiles. So we made it back to Summon and the bad news is I think the rain has beat us here and I think we're going to get wet coming home now. It looks very menacing over our left shoulder. I think Del didn't want to get her hair wet. She's shot on. That's the fastest she's gone all day. <laughs> so what happened then, Del? What did you eat? You flew up there. Like banana cake. You spat us all. <laughs> Try harder. We reckon That's it was because you, you, you didn't want to get your hair wet, so you just kicked on a bit. <laughs> that is true, I did wash it yesterday, damn it. Oh, <laughs> puts in the hurt house then. <laughs> Flying she was. Well, we've managed to just get caught by a little shower, Justin, but it doesn't look very promising in the direction you've got to go now. No, it does look a little bit wet, but <laughs> it's lovely and sunny again now, so I think it'll be like that all the way home now. Yeah, you just have a chance to dry off before you get wet again. So we're not as late this week, so who's missing? <laughs> Yeah, we miss you really, Pete. Justin reckons it's all those dry roasted peanut stops. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, wish Steve all the best in his recovery of his little bramble incident. <laughs> but don't forget to give it a like, comment and subscribe, and we will see you again very, very soon in the next video.